<laughs> I love this shirt. So today we have a Timu haul, very small one, not a big one, but surprisingly I got my first bad product. Now it's not really bad bad, it's just design flaw. So we'll just, first of all, this shirt came from Timu. This is an extra large. I got extra large because I didn't want it tight. So you can see there, it fits really nice. I love this fabric. This is that like silky, like lightweight. It's really good for Florida anyway. Since you have to wear clothes. Dang clothes. All right, so this is one of those plastic egg carton things, which I think is pretty cool. But the problem is, it is so hard to open. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is just like breaking the lid off and then just keeping like the bottom part. But I don't know how Steve would feel about that. And if you just, it doesn't close if you don't lock it. So I don't know why they made the locks. <sighs> you see that? I mean, that's like ridiculous. You'll break your eggs trying to open it. Yeah, so I don't know what to do about it. We're just not going to use it, I think, because, I don't know, it just seems a little... Like, eggs are fragile. I don't want to, like, be struggling to open this and squish it or I don't know. But it definitely could be designed a little bit better. So there's my opinion on the egg. I love the how it looks, and I think it would be really great in the fridge. And there's actually, um, you can stack them on top of each other if you get more than one. But I don't know, just that opening... It's a lot of work. So that's my opinion on that. Let's see, next, we have my shirt. I love my shirt. We talked about that already. What am I doing? Um, next, we will show this. I'm not gonna bother trying to return the egg carton thing because it just doesn't seem, doesn't seem worth it. Okay, so this is super cute. So a little sunflower heart necklace. It's really long. So I like that um, I, the way when I first saw it, I thought, oh, you just like slide the Sunflower in the heart, but of course that's not going to work because they are not there. That's cute, right? And you can turn it so it's longer or shorter. Kind of like it like that. Super cute. I like it. So that's a plus. Next, I bought myself some new stamps because I really want to try to get back into, sorry, my nose is like, my allergies are itchy today, so my nose is like really driving me crazy. So I apologize if I keep scratching my nose. It's like involuntary, it itches and I just automatically like, ee, ee. I'm not picking my nose, I promise. Let's see, I need, excuse me, extreme close-up, hello, hello, hello. I'm using a mouse pad here so you can hopefully see. Let's see if you can see. So these are cute little mice. And they have quite a few sayings. It says, happy cupcake day, girl, boy, thanks, hello, happy anniversary, happy birthday, congrats, sending smiles, and birthday, which all fit on this little flag here. So all of these words. And then there's make a wish, sweet treats would fit on the little flag. Hope your day is stacked with cupcakes and fun for someone very special. So those are super, super cute. I love them. A 
let me know if you'd like me to do like a card making video. I know I've talked about it before. I've just never done it because I'm not real sure if that's what you want to see or not. That was days before I was getting comments. <laughs> so I know you will tell me now if that's something you want to see. So here are the, this comes with matching die cuts. So this matches the stamps so you can don't have to cut them out with scissors, which is really, really nice. Excuse me a moment. I'll be back. Okay, sorry. Emily is camping with her grandparents and she sent me a text message, so I just wanted to see what she had to say. All right, so next, um, let's do this. This, the box surprised me, but I, and I haven't opened it yet. I've been chomping at the bit to open it, but I haven't opened it yet. So this is what it should look like. I did cut the tape across the top. The box is so pretty. So this is Legos. Oh my gosh, they are tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. There's like a whole series of little buildings. And this was only $5, so I didn't think that was a bad bad price at all. Now, it's not Lego, of course, but oh my gosh, look at the stickers. What is this? Uh, I don't know. It's in Chinese. I don't know what it's for. I don't think I need it. I think it might be like the notebooks, what you get. So it says Laws Ideas. So we have this bag. And then we have this bag with a whole bunch of pieces. The little tiny pieces. Oh my gosh, they're little, so little. And then this bag, which I know you can't see the pieces, but I'm just showing you. And then you have the, oh, there's your people. Oh, I got a people. That's cool. Ooh, that was nasally, sorry. My gosh, how big is this? <laughs> Look at that. Is that amazing or what? That's a lot of pieces. A whole lot of pieces. So this is how big the instruction sheet is. And it's all step by step. So hopefully this will be easy, somewhat easy to put together. I'm excited. It looks pretty cute. So I will um, definitely share with you when I get it finished. I want to find the little person. Where's the little person? I love the little Lego people, but I've never seen one that small. I know he's yellow, so I'm looking for yellow. That looks like a little boat. Oh my gosh, is that the little person? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's so cute. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to get the bag to where I can show you. Look at how little he is. He's so funny. I love it. He's got a mustache and a bow tie. He might be the, the server, the waiter. Oh my gosh, he's so little. So cute. Okay, so my little Coca-Cola shop is going to be really fun. So I'll show you the finished piece again, the box. So like I said, there's there were several different ones. But I had to have the Coca-Cola one, of course, if you know me at all and my little Coke head self. 
Okay, next we have this really cute little box. First of all, oh, this is diamond painting related. I got two little blue hearts of wax, which I love. I love the little hearts. We have a single, a single placer in metal, and we have a six placer. Emily? She's camping with my parents, but she's already planning for this week, the end of this week, for a sleepover. So she's like all chomping at the bit, all excited, because this is the first time she's, well, the second time she hit, will be sleeping away from home. The first time was just a few weeks ago. So, yes, my child is 13, and she has never spent the night away from home. She never wanted to. So, that's okay. No need to rush it, right? No one says you've got to sleep over at other people's houses. They can always come to your house, which is what she's always done. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put the six-placer on this pin because I haven't showed it to you yet, have I? Because this is the one I use, six-placer and four-placer I use the most. So since I, right now I don't have an extra, I love these metal tips. Check this pin out. Is this the coolest or what? They have different stones that you can um, order to, that are on the top. But isn't that cool? Looks like a little wand. I love it. I think it's really cool. And it's, um... I think it might be, it's not resin, it might be um, clay of some sort or polymer of some sort, but isn't that neat? I love it. Can you hear the little click clicking? If you can, that's my daughter. <laughs> it's kind of convenient because she wants to go Thursday night to Friday. And the girl lives like right down the street from volleyball practice. So it will be convenient. I can drop her off after volleyball and then I don't have to go out of my way. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, it's not terrible. I really don't care. Okay. Next we have our diamond paintings and they are of the same uh, subject matter, but this is a little teeny tiny 20 by 20. And isn't he cute? He looks really good for being so small. Super cool. I like it. I love the, the pre, the words that they put at the bottom. You can just click those so you don't have to actually type now. I swear we're getting lazier and lazier. I watched iRobot last night. That's set in 2035. I had forgotten that it was, you know, don't pay attention to the year, but 10 years from now, and they're talking about having those AI robots. Wouldn't that be scary? <sighs> that movie it creeped me out from the beginning. I don't like robots. Okay, so there are 15 colors on this canvas. And the drills look really close to what is on the canvas, color-wise. There's that. And we got our standard toolkit with it. Move that down there. Next, now this one, this canvas is like completely different from any other canvas I think I have ever gotten. It is really thick. It's almost like, um, what do you call it, like oil cloth or something? But it's really, really stiff and sturdy compared to, you know, most canvases. And the mill on this plastic is super thick compared to the others. This stuff will not tear.
it won't tear. Like the other stuff, you'd be able to tear it. But look at these gorgeous creatures. Get it to where there's no glare. Isn't it pretty? I love the colors. Of course, I love the subject matter. Sweet little turtles. I just watched a video of a turtle that was caught way up in the marshlands and it was stuck in the mud. It couldn't get back to the ocean. I don't know where it was. I didn't pay attention that much to where it was, but um, like the, the um, what's that called? Not marsh. Anyway, this turtle was really far from the ocean and this man came across it and, and in his travels of walking through the mangroves, that's what I was trying to say, mangroves, um, and he found this turtle and he walked it all the way back to the ocean and you should have seen that turtle take off. He swam so fast or she swam so fast, it was crazy. But anyway, I love turtles. And my dream is to make it to the Gulf Coast at some point in my life and actually during nesting season and see a nest actually hatch and go out. I want to see that in person so bad. So bad. It's amazing to me how the turtle knows to dig up out of the ground and knows which direction to go. I mean, I guess they can smell the water, but still, like, that's that smell is, like, all over, encasing you all around, so... I don't know. It's just, they are just incredible creatures and they come, they swim and swim and swim and they come back to the same beach. It's just so amazing. All right, so this canvas has 20 different colors on it. I'll show it to you again. Oh, there's four, there's a baby. I was thinking there was only three turtles. There's actually four, I just saw another one. Look at that one, he's like, what are you looking at? I'm not thrilled with the way the drills are packaged. It's very messy, but we do have a nice um, toolkit there with the white tray. I prefer the funnel trays over the non-funnel trays, definitely. I've gotten spoiled by them, so I do not like the green boats anymore. <laughs> I don't like using them at all. All right, so that is that. Um, so again, that's Timu. Um, I don't know if I'll have the links in the description. Depends on if I can get into the site to get to my order or not. But I will try to at least find the links for the diamond paintings and the Legos and the pin. But <laughs> I'll try to put links for you. If not, I apologize ahead of time. So that is what I have for you for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you very much. And I will see you again very, very soon.